and just right off the bat, I can see already that, and you can hear in my voice how excited I am. Yeah, Gudasol yeah. here from Machine Minds, and I just got the email that ChatGPT4 is open. Um, I This is literally the first message I've sent, and this is something from our course, and I'm working to set the context to write code. So um, the reason I wanted to film this video is I wanted to see if there's a noticeable change and what sort of stuff we get out of ChatGPT. This is part of God mode, which we talk about, where you set exactly the languages, the libraries that you want, and then this is one of the prompts to use to try to get ChatGPT to follow context. So usually when I'm making an application in ChatGPT, uh, I have it do a skeleton first, and you'll see that it just kind of hits the ground running and tries to do the best that it can to build this application in one. But we can see that the code that we get back here, uh, now I want to see like, okay, what's the difference in chat GPT-3? So let's do a new chat. Um, we can even do, yeah, we'll do we'll do the, the default. Why not? Um, and we'll see. Okay, look, so, so first of all, uh, okay, well, we had an error, but first of all, you can see that ChatGPT3 is not following my instructions. Like, the, the very, and I get so upset with GPT, I get so upset with ChatGPT about this, like, I'm literally telling you only reply in code snippets. And just right off the bat, I can see already that Python is listening to me, that ChatGPT4 is listening to me, and you can hear in my voice how excited I am. Um, because yeah, this is another example of me being like, yeah, I need everything in one code block. Uh, sorry, I lost the chat. Here we go. So we can see how much better uh, chat GPT-4 is for code compared to chat GPT-3. Although I will say it looks like chat GPT-3 is following my instructions a little bit better uh, as far as um, what I want from commenting. So one thing that I teach in the premium resource is how to get ChatGPT to comment what you want. Um, you can tell it what library you want, which is actually what I recommend is if you just tell ChatGPT like use JS docs or something like that, it's going to give you the comments that you want inside of your code. Um, we see ChatGPT4 is actually doing a really good job with the comments as well. Um, so I, I take that back. Uh, ChatGPT4 actually did a better job now that I'm looking at it um, with the comments because these are short comments that tell you exactly what's happening. So uh, without further ado, you know, I said I was going to jump into React, but I think that's better for another video. The point here was to compare ChatGPT3 and 4, and we can see of this very basic test um, that ChatGPT4 is miles better. Like, number one, it's following the instructions, and number two, it's doing a better job with the instructions, um, and those number one and two are both related to the comments. To reiterate, ChatGPT2 has done more descriptive comments in a better formatting and also listened to my request to only give me back code snippets because I'm a coder. I don't need all this stuff at the beginning telling me, oh yeah, I figured out what you want and here's what you want. Just give me what, what I want. Um, so if this is exciting to you, check us out. We are Machine Minds AI. It's machineminds.substack.com. If you want to get right to the goodies, it's godsoul, G-O-D-S-O-L dot gumroad dot com. I'll see you there. My name is Gudasoul, formerly Godsoul. Peace.